All right. So StreamYard says that I'm live, but I'm going to wait for some of y'all to get up in the room so y'all can see that I'm live. I don't even know how many people still get notifications from us, but we're going to see. We gonna see, we're gonna see how many people come through and getting that notification. Good afternoon or good evening, Brittany Shaka. I Kenick, Johnny, the plainest Jane, Curl Baby, J Red. Hey everybody, what's going on? It has been a freaking minute since y'all seen me, since I went live, since I've talked to y'all. I got a lot of things I got to get off my chest and not in a bad way, you know, um, not in a bad way. I, I ain't coming in here like, oh, I'm so pissed off. Ah, I'm going to punch somebody in the face. You know, that's not what I'm here for, you know. I'm here to talk to you guys. And, you know, I'm here to talk to y'all. Um, Plan is Jane. Thank you for being a Patreon subscriber. Thank you for subscribing to us on Patreon. So, y'all can see me clearly. Y'all can hear me clearly. Everything is good. Thumbs up. Everything is everything is good. All right. We got a super chat from Argentina. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the super chat, Argentina. Okay. So we're here. We're live and everything. My skin popping. Baby. That's just a little touch up. <laughs> it's a little touch up. You know, stream your off with to do a little touch up. I let it do a little touch up. So, hey, touch me up, baby. Look at my head. I'm still kind of bald. Uh, no, I don't watch the Real Housewives of Potomac. Sorry. I did not watch this season. I I don't even know the last time I watched the season of the Real Housewives of Potomac. Sorry. All right. Now listen, I know I see some people sending super chats. If you if you want to send it to me, I prefer you do Cash App because it's instant and I don't have to wait until May to get the money. Like I don't have to wait until the end of May. Um but I'm live right now because I want to talk to y'all. And I want to talk to y'all because we are like, I don't want to say we're halfway through the year, but we're through the first quarter of um, 2024. And I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay, but I'm going to say, I'm going to say something, baby. And I cannot let this channel die okay that's what i this is what i'm coming here for i cannot let this channel just die like i know this channel has been around since 2009 when i lost my original youtube channel you know, I had lost the, it was just regular, it was just titled Scorpion Show. I lost that YouTube channel and I created this one um, back in January 2009. So we had thousands of videos on here, um, but you don't really see videos post it on here the videos are posted on patreon um thank you oh wow thank you for the cash apps y'all let me turn let me mute my phone 
Uh, thank you, Bree Nicole, and thank you to Sarah. I don't want to. I don't want to say nobody's last name, but thank you for the cash apps. So, all right. So, let me get back to my thought. So, um, I said I don't want to let this channel die. It's been popping since two thousand nine, but we had to take we had to take a break from YouTube, and we're still going to be doing our videos on Patreon because. YouTube, let's just say the monetization isn't fair to us and has been fair to us, but it has been great on um, uh, Patreon. And I want to come back to this channel, not just me and Mikel, not just me and Mikel, but for myself, I want to come back into this as y'all see there's there's a lot a lot of new youtubers out there a lot of people that give their opinions uh, you know i don't know these new people i don't have nothing against these people i just don't know them but i'm glad to see that people still get their news and information from people with me i've just been so consumed with working okay like i've been consumed with working and I haven't been like, oh, let me run to YouTube. Let me talk. Let me give them my take on this. Let me give them my take on that. Like, where in the history of YouTube, like, where Beyonce drops an album and you don't see a video from me, you know, a lot of people just been like, damn, you don't do the, um, you don't do the videos no more. I don't understand. Like, for me, like, I love doing the videos on Patreon. I feel like it's, we can say what we want. It's still uncensored, even though it was uploaded to YouTube. We do what we want. We say what we want. We have a good time and all of that stuff, right? But for me too, like, I don't want to, Um, how can I say this for myself? I, um, it's just for me personally. I feel like I need to jump back in this shit. For me personally, just just me personally, I have to jump into this. This is not like a Mikel thing. For myself, this is something that I have to jump back into. It's something that I want to jump back into. And I have too much free time. <laughs> I'm not fired. <laughs> I'm not fired. But when I come home from work, I have free time. And what I want to do is for myself, I don't have a lot of time to keep strolling and screen and, and streaming through all of these different websites and stuff like that. So I need I need someone maybe two or three people to help me with like these new motherfucking people. I don't know all of these new artists. I don't know their songs. I don't know I don't know none of them, okay? I need I need like brief summaries of who these people are, how long they've been now, who they who bought them out, who they got is like I need all of that stuff. If it's news stories, I want to make sure I have all of the facts before I run and jump up on here and and give my opinion on stuff. Something that I've learned is that waiting waiting for things to develop is so much better than just running and talking and giving your opinion. You don't even know. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to get back up in here. Now I was thinking doing something like five days a week. I think that's just a little bit, not a little bit too much, but I think that's too ambitious for me. 
But why not three days? Even if it's live or recorded, it's something to where I am back out here in these YouTube streets because I am not out in these streets. And for those on Patreon who subscribed on Patreon, please don't feel left, feel left out. Because I'm going to also be doing exclusive videos there. So I have to, I just have to get back in this game because I feel like a lot of time has gone by, like for myself. And I hate looking back. I, I hate looking back and I keep thinking like, yeah, this is what we used to do. This is what we used to do. This is what we used to do. Like, no, like we can still do this. We can still reach a, a newer audience. And I feel like, um, like with, 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 uh, with Patreon, we are kind of limited. The channel is limited because you're only seeing a video maybe 15 minutes you don't know us so you're like i'm not gonna give him five dollars i don't fucking know him what, what? so it, it it kind of limits it kind of limits us to only people that know us and who are willing to you know say hey i want to support i want to give five dollars a month you know it, it kind of limits us but in, in this day and age, the sky's the limit. And I'm I'm trying to get back out there. I'm trying to get back out there. So I've been quiet. And I'm just ready to reclaim some things, you know. I wanted to feel like I never left. I wanted to feel like I never left. So for me, this is all going to be challenging for me, you know, getting back out here, making sure I know who these people are, making sure I know exactly, um, you know, what I'm talking about. But this is going to be something that's fun. This is something that I am looking forward to. So if you've seen that tweet, when you've seen that tweet on Twitter, like I'm ready to reclaim some things like, yeah, I'm ready to. I'm ready to hop back out there and I'm ready to, I'm ready to, I'm ready to get in these streets again. That's what I want to do. That's exactly what I want to do. And I know a lot has happened and it's like, oh my God, like, damn, like, how do I keep up? There's a lot going on, but you know, a lot of things can be discussed um, am I open to viewer suggestions? I'm always open to it, even though it's kind of tough sometimes. So I'll just say this. Let me try. Let me try to do this, right? And see. If it doesn't work then, you know, I can definitely fall back and be like, hey, what's going on? Tell me what y'all think. Um, but even, it's not about just, it's not about just reaching out to new people, getting a new audience. Also for myself, like, I just want to do these things. Like, I want to get back out here and I want to, you know, bring more joy to people. This is what I love. This is what I know I can do. And I feel like I'm getting old too. Not not like in a bad way, but old is where I've getting I've gotten more wiser and I can get more opinions on things, you know, and it makes sense. Like sometimes you you like I would I can't give out no ideas, but I definitely want to look into the archive and look at some of our older videos. I definitely want to, and I want to see like how my mindset has changed from thinking of those times. Yes, the pioneer or one of the YouTube OGs, pioneers, 
Like, yes. Yes, we are. And we don't get our flowers, and that's okay. I know Scotty gives us our flowers all the time. All the time. And, you know, I'm not saying nobody has to. But it is appreciated when you are appreciated. (laughs) You know? (laughs) Or it's appreciative to see that you are appreciated. How about that? The podcast, the podcast, I don't know. Like, y'all can look at this microphone. It's kind of dusted. It's just been sitting. It's the, the microphone is not, like, the windscreen on this is not even just black. It's just been collecting dust. I'm sorry, microphone. You love my sweatshirt. Well, the green screen is kind of getting up in it, but as you can see, I attended WrestleMania. (laughs) Oh my God. It's my second WrestleMania. My second WrestleMania. The first time I went to WrestleMania, I went to WrestleMania 27 in Atlanta, Georgia. And this here was WrestleMania was just in my hometown last week. It was a crazy wrestling field weekend. Um, even though I didn't do a whole bunch of events, there was something for everybody during WrestleMania weekend. And it started on that Thursday. It started that Thursday. And it just went all the way on, even until Monday night. So we had five crazy nights. I took a part of two. Getting too damn old to be out here and stuff. But WrestleMania is expensive. WrestleMania was expensive, okay? Let me tell y'all something, okay? (laughs) You know how you be like... I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go there, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that. Baby. Then all of a sudden, Bill, I keep telling you about this man named Bill, and there's more than one of them. He got all these twins, and they come, and they always take from you. They take, 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 Bill, just take, 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 take from you. And Bill came and Bill was like, ha ha, you think you're doing all of this? <laughs> he laughed just like that. It's like, no, you're not. <laughs> oh my God, please don't, t- please, please, please save. Oh, don't vape, don't smoke, don't drink. Bill is always coming. Bill comes by email. He comes through text messages. He comes in the mail. And he's and it bitch. Sometimes Bill secretly takes stuff from your account. You don't even realize it. <laughs> Bill, you'd be like, wait a minute, I forgot that I I forgot to unsubscribe. Bill is sneaky, okay? Bill will try anything. (laughs) Bill is sneaky, okay? So Bill was just, Bill was like, "Uh uh-uh, you ain't doing all of this. You ain't going all of these places. Especially when I got that hospital bill. Lord. So... Yeah, and I got things I got to do. I got things I want to do. So, yeah, baby. Mm -mm. So, this is all about my adulting, you know. So, I was just telling my friends the other day, like, you know, like, ooh, ooh, let's go out. Let's get some drinks. Uh Uh-uh. No, oh, no, 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 no. I'm perfectly fine being home. 
having a drink. I got my drinks here. Ever since the pandemic, I've been okay with staying home, okay? And, and, and it really makes you think about a lot of things. And it's like, I'm paying you $15 to pour shit in my cup when I could pour this in my own cup and I could get music on my live entertainment. What? Yeah, you might not see people for a while and all of that, but the pandemic made me okay with being home. Y'all ever noticed that, like, okay, you got to be old school, old school viewer. Remember how I used to have all these eventful weekends? Because I was always out in them streets. Baby. <laughs> I can tell you I've spent more weekends in here than I have out in the club in the past four years. Okay? I see why, you know, my older friends, they used to be like, wait till you get a little bit older. You're not going to be going out. I'm like, shit, I'm going out. I'm going to be in these streets. Please. Kevin can be in bed on a Saturday night by 11.45. I will fall asleep thinking I'm going to watch thinking I'm going to watch Saturday Night Live. I'm just sitting there. Bitch, I could wake up. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'm thinking it's 4 o'clock. They're like, Kev, you ain't, baby, I was in the bed. Don't worry. I was in, I was in them sheets. Knocked out. Knocked the fuck out. <laughs> mm. Yes. Kevin don't be running in them streets. Now, and what is it? Is it next week? Next weekend is Black Pride. Philly Black Black Pride. I'm not all excited for that. I'm like, I just got maybe one or two parties I'm going to go to. And I'm back in the house. One or two parties. Hopefully that, that second party is open bar. Because I had the best time last year. I was so done. I was so Done. Okay, let me tell y'all. Kevin was done. <laughs> and that was the first time I let my hair down in a long time. I would probably say last year at Pride was probably the most effed up I've been since my mom had passed. Since that day she passed. That was the most effed up I was. Oh, but baby, I had a time because I haven't, I haven't seen a lot of people and it's been so long since I've seen people and everybody wants to know how you are and how you doing. And I'm sorry about your mom and this and that. And, and baby, Kevin was done. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to having one of them nights again. <laughs> I'm looking forward to having one of those nights again. Yeah, but oh my god, y'all. It's um yeah, so Philly Pride is next next Saturday. So if you come into town, let me know. I may I may be out and about somewhere. Most likely it's gonna be Saturday. It won't it won't be probably won't be Friday and Cause back in the day, I could do Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Mm -mm. Give me one good night. Give me that Saturday night where I know I ain't got to be to work on Sunday. I don't have to go to the Pride stuff on the Sunday. Just give me Saturday night, and let it not be rain. It's always raining, always raining. But yeah, man, this is um. This is fun. This says, I have loved your show since I was a teenager. I'm 32 now. Thank you, Jesse. We're all much older now. <laughs> and you're trying to make me feel old. <laughs> so, yeah. But, yeah, I'll be, I'll be knocked out 
Okay. So yeah, I don't I don't go out as much. I'm home. I'm home. I'm home. So I do look forward, but I do look forward into getting back in this thing, coming back and being here and being present, you know. I'm really looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to the next Patreon video. Um, trying to work out me and Mikel's schedule, you know, but we get, y'all getting a video this week. Y'all getting a video this week. Hell, I might dip my toe in that water tomorrow. Y'all might see me dip my toe in that water tomorrow. Um, but I, I'm I'm looking forward into coming back and talking to you guys and rebuilding things. I know it's gonna take some time, so I'm not expecting things to be like overnight, like like overnight success. You know, I'm not I'm not expecting that. I'm I'm just expecting to uh get back in here. Someone just asked about the podcast. The podcast is not on my mind at this time. It's not on my mind at this time to do a podcast. Everybody has a podcast and my mind is not in a space to where I know the exact structure to how I want the podcast and how I want it to go and what days I want to upload and all that stuff. So my mind is not in this space of thinking about a podcast. My mind is more focused on getting back in these YouTube streets. So that's where my mind is at. And once I find, like I like once I feel like I have found that groove, then I can feel like I can worry about other things. But I cannot commit to doing a podcast, even though it will it will probably be a great thing to do. I know you want to listen to us wherever you go. And you don't necessarily have to see us, but I do know that most people prefer to see us. But yeah, man, that's what I wanted to come here and talk to y'all about. Y'all about to, uh, y'all about to see me a lot more. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I'm getting back out here. And I'm looking forward to it. Um, I seen that a DeAndre was saying like, "Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely send you stories." Definitely looking forward to it. Um, and I don't. I just don't. I just like don't send me stuff that's just from like the shade room and all of these different things because who knows how true all that stuff is. But I mean, if you got screenshots and all of that, hey, I guess, you know, but am I going on TikTok soon? I created one TikTok. First of all, if you're on TikTok, can you follow me? Because I don't. I, I only posted one TikTok. That was probably six weeks ago. Let's see. Let me make sure my phone is muted. I don't even know my tick. My TikTok name is Kev Scorp. My TikTok name is Kev Scorp. Y'all want to see? Here we go. I ain't on there like that. That's me. Hey. And it's only two videos. But follow me, y'all. Follow me on TikTok. <laughs> follow me on there. So I can see what's going on. Hey, CJ, thank you for following me. CJ and Brandon King. I shouldn't be reading your last names. Earl. Thank y'all. Yeah, but I'm gonna I'm learn this TikTok. I'm gonna learn this TikTok. I'm gonna learn it. I feel like a senior citizen trying to learn something new. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we will follow you because you want your YouTube videos to go viral. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I do want to post some of our. Um, maybe I'll create a different TikTok for that part, like a different TikTok where this classic. 
classic stuff, you know, or classic, some new stuff, you know, definitely would love that. Uh, let me ask y'all one question. Are y'all enjoying Cowboy Carter? Like, what's your favorite song on the... Maybe I should do a maybe I should do a video about my favorite songs on Car- Cowboy Carter and something like that. Like, what's your favorite songs? Like, if you if you go to the end of the album, I'm gonna be mad. If you already if you already go to the towards the end of the album, I'm gonna be see. Oh, here we go, DeAndre, right there, Tyrant. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. You already at the end of the album. Like, damn. Desert Eagle, damn. See, why y'all go to the end of the... Why? Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. No. <laughs> Everybody took my time. <laughs> Everybody went to the end of the album. Uh-uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Look at y'all, I knew it. I knew it. No, I did not listen to Chloe's song, Boy by Bodyguard is my shit, okay? Honey, honey. I'm not singing tonight. Uh uh-uh, uh, no. I love Bodyguard. I love Daughter. I love Daughter. Um, Protector. Like, I like the, I really like the first half of the album. When I heard the second half of the album, I just was like, oh, this just, um, the way I looked at it, you know how, like, how back in the day, you would get a couple extra songs on the album? Like, if you went to Walmart or if you go to Target, you get these extra songs. Like, I feel like, I feel like after, um, at the Levi's Jeans or one of those songs, I feel like everything else is the after party. I feel like that's the after party. <laughs> I feel like all of that Desert Eagle, River Dance, Two Hands, Tyrant. Um, uh, what is that? That 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 sweet honey bucking song. I feel like those are bonus tracks. Those are the after party. <laughs> um I see we got a, a cash app, a super chat. Remember. If you want to send anything, don't do don't do super chat because they make me wait too long. Send them through Cash App. But Yaya Baby says, and thank you. What year do you feel Lady Gaga will return to music? I didn't know that she disappeared from music. You know, um, most people be taking their breaks and everything. Maybe she come back next year. Maybe she come back with something this year. You never know. Music is a music is exciting. It's fun, but you know who knows how it how it is for her right now. Um, I wish I wish her the best. I wish her the best health. I hope that she's okay because I absolutely have no idea what she has going on. Maybe she's acting. Like I noticed that a lot of musicians are finding finding a new way to bring in new streams of income, and it's not just music. So, yeah. But probably sometime in 2025. You never know. Um, yeah. Yep, here we go. Lady Gaga and starring in a Joker sequel where she plays Harley Quinn. It comes out October 4th. See? <laughs> <laughs> um... Am I going to the Missy Elliott concert? I don't know. Missy has come at a time where, baby, I have to pay a hospital bill. Okay, so I got to pay that. I have to finish paying for my cruise. Um, I have to go on the cruise. And when I come back from the cruise, Missy comes two days later. I don't know. I don't think that's a good time. That's not good timing for me. <laughs> I really want to go. So once I finish paying off the cruise, I can see where I'm at. 
But baby, y'all know this adulting shit ain't fun. I'm trying to tell y'all. <laughs> Back in the day, I ain't had to worry about that stuff. But now, oh yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. So we'll see. We'll see where I'm at. I'm not saying I'm not going to go. I just have to find somewhere to to get tickets to go. And right now, right now, I'm not. Uh, I'm not buying tickets. Not right now. Not right now. I'm not rushing to scoop up tickets. No, but I will. I think I will eventually get to it. My TikTok name is Kev Scorp. So we got 10 new people that came through. Come on. There we go. What if something from like Jack or A for A come come up on my phone? I'm going to be so embarrassed. Oh, Lord. Let's see who followed. <clears throat> Mistakenly introverted, be a superstar, Piscean princess. It said 10 people, but it's this. Okay, there we go. Marcus Terry, Kevin J. Stone. Okay. He got me on here working out. Okay, I'll see you. He looks like he's a, a a social media person. Okay. Let's see. Marcus Terry has no videos, Lord. Rain Miss Rainbow. She just following people. Hey. Be a superstar. Okay. She got her and her kids and looks like stuff she be making. Is these these crocs you be making? These are nice. Look at that. Can y'all see that? I don't know if y'all can see. It's the green screen interrupting it. Hey, Miss Deb. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I need to put some food in the oven because I gotta cook. <laughs> I have to cook, baby. I'm gonna put some chicken in the oven, make some rice and vegetables, and that's what I'm gonna eat tonight. Watch wrestling, probably fall asleep before wrestling goes off. I got a training class tomorrow. Let me tell you all. I'm trying to say this in the nicest way possible. I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it. Or I can, let's, let's talk about it. When you're new... When you're a new person in a new place, for example, a job, right? When you're new at a job, are you quiet as a mouse or are you as social as you can be? Press one if you're quiet as a mouse. Press two is if, if you're as social as can be. I'm curious. I'm curious to know which which one are you? One, one. I'm seeing a bunch of ones. <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> Two because I'm I'm so sure and I'm excited. Okay. All right. I was just curious. I was curious. 
I just don't want to say anything that gets me in trouble. But I would pick. Um, okay. This is this is how I would do it. I would be two, only in class. When I when I get out, I would be one. <laughs> I would be one because I want to read everybody, and I want to pick up on everybody and how they do things and all of that stuff. So two in a classroom, one once I get out. <laughs> Somebody said 1.3. Sometimes two when it's my Friday. Yeah. You always want to be friendly. One day I might have a conversation for y'all. <laughs> I just don't want nobody to see this and be like, is he talking about me? So. (laughs) Yeah. I listen more than I speak. I love that. Yeah, that does sound like a Patreon video. Tiva, thank you for reminding me I have Patreon. Okay. (laughs) I think I might title that video, Read the Room. (laughs) Oh, baby. Baby. I'm surprised I don't have more gray hairs. Y'all see these gray hairs keep coming out? Yeah. Read the room. Okay? Read the room, people. Read the room. Read the room. All right. Now, I don't want to keep y'all too long. I don't want to keep y'all too long. Is y'all enjoying yourselves? Anybody? All right. I'm going to give y'all five questions, right? They got to be good questions, not no, where you see yourself in five years type of questions. I want some good shit, okay? Five questions. I'm going to answer five. They need to be good. You can ask me anything you want. The shit got to be good. Okay. (laughs) And no, I'm not cooking on camera for y'all tonight. Oh, random question. How many cousins you think you have? Well, according to Ancestry, I got 8,000 cousins out there. Even more. Can you imagine if you took an ancestry DNA test and I was on your list? <laughs> um, that actually happened to someone. I was like, long time no see. And he was like, What are you talking about? I was like, nigga. I didn't say it like that. But I was like, yeah. I can't believe we're cousins. I showed them my picture. Um, a trade song settled that lawsuit. Guilty, guilty. Some things going to come out that he didn't want to come out. He had the money to pay for it. Um, What f- five solo artists did you make a musical supergroup? See, first of all, five is too many. I think three or four would just be fine. Three or four. Um, if I could put together a supergroup. group. 
Well, right now, since no, no, no. You know what I would do? I would put Missy and Sierra as a super group. Because you got Sierra who got the vocals um, and then Missy with the raps. And I don't think those two have ever made a song I did not like. So I will put them two as a super group. Now, when it comes to other artists, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying not to look at anybody names y'all pull up. Let's see. Because some people do deserve to be, should be in a group. I would do... Here, here I go again. A duets album. This is really random AF. I would do... What would... What would a, a, a duets album like with Kelly Rowland... And Brian McKnight. What would that sound like? Kelly Rowland and Tank. What would that sound like? Um, I can't see it for um any or I would do Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande. Miley Cyrus. Dua Lipa. Now that would be weird as fuck. Yeah, that would be weird. But I want to see how that would be. Uh, Yeah, let's see anybody else had any questions. Have you talked to any... Have you talked to other YouTubers that are that are making it to see how cause Funky be cussing and carrying on? I don't know what you mean by that. I don't know what you mean by that question. Have you talked to other YouTubers that are making it to see how? Cause Funky be cussing and carrying on. You went back in the day, artist baby. You want these new people? I don't know these new people. I told you I don't know these fucking new people. Okay, so they aren't they aren't getting flagged. Okay. Well, that's not my experience. Their experience and us is totally different. Will we ever get more interviews on the Scorpion show? Who knows? I tell you right now, the only person, the only person I want right now, the only person I want right now would be Jennifer Lewis. That's it for now. Jennifer Lewis. I want her to come on. Because I want her to be that voice that can get to you all and tell you about the importance of voting. And not even just that, how talking about mental health has evolved since our last conversation, especially since COVID. Um. More people, excuse me, more people have tapped into it. Um, 
so yeah, definitely would love to talk to Jennifer Lewis again. Definitely. And she's got she's she's released two books since we've spoken. So that would be fun to discuss. I love that group flow. Flow is like it gives you that early 2000s vibe. I love them. I really love them and the way they make their songs. Excuse me. Everybody knows Jennifer Lewis, okay? Everybody knows Jennifer Lewis in some type of capacity. She transcends generations as well. And she then played everybody's mother. You know you seen her ass in some um, um, movies and stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, baby. Will we ever see Ernest Owens again? Oh, I'm sure. It's been a minute. But I'm sure Ernest has been busy, 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 busy. I haven't talked to Ernest in a minute. The last time, the last time I talked to Ernest, it was probably primary season for the mayoral candidates, and I told him, "Hey, I think I like I like this lady." You know, I said, "Oh, she would do real good at running this city." And she got elected. And her name is Sherelle Parker. It was something about her. In the beginning, I just was like, "Ah, I don't know. I don't know. And then when I seen seen her, um, when she campaigned, you know how they do this, the, the, um, what you call that? What you call that? I can't think. I'm looking at my TV like I see eight people on the stage. Debate. When they had their debate, I said, yes, she's the one for me. She's the one for me. She's the one for me. If I could interview the mayor... I would love to talk to her. First female running a major city like this, a black female. What do you think about the violence that's going on in your city? What have you done to protect it? So she's been mayor probably about 100 days now. About 100 days. You know how everybody do a little report card, see how she's doing. Um, I think that she's been out there so far. You got to give her a chance. Because most likely, once you are the mayor, you're going to be the mayor for the next, what, 2,400 days? How many years? How many days is in eight years? Let me see. Probably 2,600. Where's my calculator? Where's my calculator? Siri, what's eight times 365? 2,900. So add the the two leap years, 2,922 days. (laughs) So she's got some time to get it together. Okay, so she's going to be the mayor for most of my 40s. (laughs) Yeah, she'll be the mayor for most of my 40s once I get there. Lord willing, if I get there. I don't need nothing happening to me, but yeah. Yeah. I think everybody's plan for can A is to clean it up. I mean, we shouldn't want it to just be like a death valley. That's what it looks like. And those people that just get addicted to those drugs, like it's so horrible to see. And I'm not there. So K&A is like out of sight, out of mind for me. But it's still not right to, because, you know, your loved ones could be there or, could you know, 
could could pass away if somebody gives them a bad drug. Like it's horrible. K and A is horrible. It's horrible. So yeah. My connect at Fox TV is still there. Well, her name, I shouldn't say a connect. I haven't talked to her in so long. Jennifer Frederick. I remember when I was a kid, she's still on Fox News. Like, I was a teenager. Like, Mike Jarek is still there. Um, Sue Serio is still there. They've been on TV since I was in my teenage years. Good day, Philadelphia. I used to go to school late because I'd be sitting there watching them. Like, yeah, I was watching Good Day Philadelphia. I don't know. It was just something about the banter. And there was a point back in the day where Steve, Steve Keeley and Jennifer Frederick would go at it. Like, they would go at it on TV. And I, and I know it wasn't like a... I don't think it was personal. It was banter, but I used to, I used to live for it. Like I loved it. So yeah, Fox News. I was a Fox News guy for like all my life until like two thousand twenty. Like twenty twenty, I made the switch to ABC. So I've been watching Matt and Tam in the morning. I watch Matt and Tam in the morning. And they've been they've been my little morning team. So when I get up in the morning, four o'clock, turn the channel six, see what's going on. And then some days I do still watch 29. You know, I watch 29. I watch Karen and um Thomas, Karen and Thomas sometimes. But Matt and Tam, I like them. I like them. And I love how Tam tells me the news and she's not all like, get up and not even up. Like, she's just so chill when she reads. I love it. Yeah, anyway, I didn't watch no, if anything about Coachella, I seen was some performance, um, some of the um, clips from um, Victoria Monet. But Coachella is not even. Um, Coachella, I guess, I guess ever since Beyonce performed, that name value has gone down a bit. Cause I don't know. Oh my God, I seen that clip of Gwen Stefani singing Don't Speak. <laughs> Almost said don't sing, baby. <laughs> I didn't like it. <laughs> did not like it at all. I did not like those vocals. And you know, things change. It was the song is like 30 years old. And she didn't sing I'm just a girl like the way I liked it. She didn't sing Don't Speak the Way I Like It. But the most shocking thing is that the audience knew the songs. When she held that microphone out to the crowd, they knew the songs. So that is what you want. When you stick that microphone out, you want some fucking feedback. You want feedback. That's what you want. You and me, we used to be together, every day together, always. I really feel that I'm losing my best friend. I can't believe this could be the end. It looks as though you're letting go and if it's real then i don't want to know i don't want to drop my microphone <laughs> <laughs> that used to be my shit back in the days mm. 
<laughs> Old memories, they can be inviting, but sometimes, wait, wait, wait. Oh, memories, they can be inviting, but got all together mighty frightening. As we die, both you and I, with my head in my hands, I sit and cry. That's my shit. Okay. All right. Yeah. So old school, no doubt, is my shit. The first two albums from Gwen Stefani is my shit. Like, yeah, man. So, all right. I've been on here for an hour. It's really time for me to put this chicken in the oven and stuff and season it up and all that good stuff. Clean it and put it in the oven. Um, but yeah. Don't be surprised if you see me tomorrow. I'm told you I'm getting back in these streets and and I'm not playing. Like if you don't see me tomorrow, you'll definitely see me Wednesday. Um Lord, I just talked about Missy Elliott. You just getting I think some of y'all just coming in the room, okay? That's what it is. Y'all just coming into the room. So, y'all like you ain't going to go see Missy. When I get some Missy money, I'm going to be there, okay? Right now, Missy is looking like, uh, Missy is playing. <laughs> Missy is coming when rent is due. I got my cruise. I got stuff I'm doing this summer. So she's just coming at a bad time. <laughs> but it, I got three months to get it together. It's freaking April. So I got three months and a half. I'm sure somewhere I can eke some money out from Missy Elliott. <laughs> but not right now. <laughs> but not right now, okay? Everybody want... Oh, I need to make a video about this. Everybody wants $800 $1,000, $2,000 for front row. Like, now I love Missy, okay? But I get it. $800, you're not just paying $800 to see Missy Elliott. You're paying $800 and $1,000 because it's fucking Sierra, it's Missy, and Busta Rhymes. So those, these is three big artists. These is not no rinky-dink people. Like, this is not just one artist you paying to see. So you saying eight to $1,000, you paying $300 a person, just about. You paying $300 a person to see. And that's not so. And Timberland, too? Oh, bitch. Oh, yeah. All right. So you, all right, so you paying $200 an artist to see them up front. Okay. Shit, I paid $700 for WrestleMania, the most expensive wrestling ticket I've ever purchased. And I kind of have um, guilt from buying it. Like, I could have watched this on my TV for five fucking dollars. <laughs> I could have watched this shit for five dollars. But but you know, first of all, you already know you're going to get a show with Missy. You know for sure you're getting a show with Sierra. And you know Buster got hits. So I know Buster's going to give us a show. Buster been working out, losing all his weight and everything. So it's definitely going to be worth the money, even if I'm not front row. Okay. I already got my Janet ticket. Y'all know I wasn't playing. I'm snatched that shit up so fast. I wasn't playing. Snatched that shit right on up. Only thing I hate is all those extra fees. Like, where's my video? I got to make a video. 
Stop advertising one price when you know fucking well you're going to add a building fee, the construction fee, the artist fee, the Uber fee, the drink fee. All you putting all that shit in there. Like, stop playing. You round that shit off, that shit come to light. You see a ticket, it'd be like $550. You know damn well you ain't paying five fifty. You about to pay seven hundred and something dollars for that ticket. Like no, I mean I got my Janet ticket, baby. You know I was getting my Janet ticket. You know I had to make my OnlyFans for that one. Put my feet up on it. Like, no. <laughs> I got my Janet ticket. Shit, I want to see Missy Elliott on tour, but I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get my, I gotta get my, I gotta get my affairs in order. Beyonce betting I say she's going on tour this summer. I'm definitely not gonna be there. Now unless the powers that be get me in there, I won't be in there. Shit. She bet she bet not she bet not even toot her lips to say anything about a fucking tour. She better practice this shit. All oh, she got all 2024. Beyonce will see your ass next year, okay? <laughs> Let me learn the words. Let me figure out what the fuck I'm gonna wear. And how I'm gonna get the money to buy a cowboy outfit. <laughs> Ah, shit. <laughs> um, TNC. No, this is this video is not even going on Patreon. You missed my whole speech earlier today. When you go back and watch this video, I think you'll be very happy on what you hear. I think you'll be happy. Shit. Uh oh. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. So let me see who follow if 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 we got more people to follow me on TikTok. Let me see. It was the same people. Oh, shit. Here we go. All right. Say we got six more people. Okay. Sophie and Jamal. Urban Spencer. Keisha Nicole. Follow me on um, TikTok as I get out of here. So we gained 20 new people since I've been live, which is cool. Come on, TikTokers. Follow me, y'all. <laughs> I wasn't lying when I said I don't know how this works. So follow me on TikTok. Right here, Cab Scorp. Cab Scorp, Cab Scorp. Bam. All right. So I'm going to get out of here. I look forward to seeing y'all tomorrow. Like, listen, if it ain't the if it ain't the regular gossip videos, that's fine. I just want to get some videos out, some fresh shit, some shit that's on my mind. I just want to put it out there and say what I want to say. All right, um, I don't plan on watching the NBA draft, WNBA draft, but congratulations to Caitlin Clark. I know she's going to be number one. I don't really see it for her, and you know what it is. But you know what you know what the most exciting thing is? It's exciting because you see a white woman thriving in basketball. Um, and she's doing really, really good. And you know, they be like, oh, she's in the media and all this and that. It's exciting to see a white woman succeeding in a sport where most African Americans do really, really, really well. Um, not saying that the ones before her hasn't done really, really well, but she's broken the, the scoring record and stuff like that. So it's going to be amazing to see what she does inside the WNBA. Um, 
let's not look at it as um, a bad thing. She's somebody that's bringing more eyes to the sports because I didn't know who she was, but I hear Caitlin Clark's name every day. So, yeah, let's not, let's not, um, let's not, let's not, let's not talk about her in a bad way. She's doing something good for the sport. Shout out to Philly's own Dawn Staley. Her team, uh, South Carolina Gamecocks, won the NCAA championship last Sunday, and I watched that game. I was late for WrestleMania watching that game, okay? I wasn't late for WrestleMania, but I was late getting to the arena. Like, it didn't start yet. But I was watching the game. And you know what I find so decent is that more people are getting into female sports. And I love that for women because they should be respected in sports just as much as the men. So... Yeah, man, it's just it's just also exciting, also exciting to see, and everybody's getting a W from this. Um, but Dawn had a great week. Her girls had a great week. They didn't do too. They didn't win last year, but they came back, and they won it this year. So that's amazing. And I just love that Dawn shares her love for God and praises God and thanks Him. And you don't really see that as much from players or coaches. So I just love that she's willing to share her love for God with everybody. And on that note, you guys, I'm going to get ready to get off of here. I've been I've been trying to get off of here for 45 minutes. <laughs> um yeah. So y'all be good. Y'all be good. I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. If I don't see you tomorrow, definitely Wednesday. But the plan is tomorrow, and if I'm going to give a time, the video should be up maybe 5 or 6 o'clock. But I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be back in this arena. Um, I'm throwing my head back in there. I'm throwing my head back in there, y'all. If I fuck up, let me know. I mean, be nice about it. Don't just be like, you dumb bitch. You can't get shit right. Like, don't come at me like <laughs> Hold my hand. Like, can't do that. Don't say it. Why would you do that? Like, why would you say that? Something like that. But don't be all punch me in my face and shit. <laughs> I love y'all so much. Thank you for the uh, cash. It's not even a cash app. It's a it's a super chat. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. If you want to send cash app, that's the cash app. It goes to me instantly. I don't have to wait 80 days to see it. <laughs> All right. But yeah, so thank y'all. This is going to be fun. Again, it's just me doing this. It's not Mikel. We still got the Patreon cuz we ain't we ain't quitting neither one. But this is for me personally. This is what I want to do and what I'm willing to do. Did I watch WrestleMania, baby? I went to WrestleMania. I'm about to end this stream. Go back and watch it. I talked about a lot of stuff that y'all asking me questions about. All right. I love y'all. I'm closing the session down now. I'm out. Peace.